Today, we talk about how to get started with the Arduino Student Kit. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm from the Arduino Education team. The Arduino Student Kit is all your students need to learn the basics of electronics, coding and programming in a hands-on way. But before we dive inside the kit, I want to remind you, we have a support team dedicated to our educational kits. If you have any questions, please reach out to us so we can help you. Okay, let's do this. Open the kit and inside the lid you'll find the URL and a unique activation code. Student and educator accounts have access to the same learning platform and the same content. The difference is that the teacher notes are available for educators only. Students have credentials generated automatically for them. This has been developed especially for children who don't have email addresses to register with. To register your student kit as a teacher or parent, log in using your existing Arduino account, sign in with Google, or create a new Arduino account. You can use the same Arduino account with all the different Arduino tools and products. Welcome to the Arduino Student Kit. This is the landing page for the learning platform. From the top of the site, you can access the Getting Started lesson, all the main lessons, and the resources page. You can get back to the landing page by clicking the Student Kit logo on top left. At the bottom, visit our privacy policy, terms of service, and access the contact form for our support. We highly recommend you to use the internal contact form. Your messages will be answered faster by a professional Arduino technician dedicated to helping people using the student kit. You can also use the help button, which takes you to the frequently asked questions. Click the eye icon to see the teacher notes. You can find these notes inside the lessons and they include tips and additional information to make the learning experience easier. As part of the course, students work with a printable logbook. Print the logbook or write answers on a separate document or notebook. Students can use the logbook to annotate their exercises, observations and experiments. It comes with the answers at the end. We also recommend students to have a separate notebook dedicated to this course. It can be used in many ways to document, for example, new words, ideas, troubleshooting tips, and observations. The content will always guide students to know when it's time to open their logbook. As each lesson builds off the previous one, we recommend you to proceed in a linear way. Before starting the course with your students, go through the lessons, print all the necessary documents, install the IDE, get to know the hardware, and assemble your project board. Let's do this together! You can always access your kits from the Arduino Education site and My Kits, or go directly to the learning platform studentkit.arduino.cc. Open the Getting Started lesson. This lesson explores the tools, both hardware and software, used in this course. Click the eye icon to see the teacher notes while going through the content. Take your kit and locate the different components. At the bottom of the kit, you'll find the plastic base needed for the project board. Follow the tutorial video to assemble the project board. This is the base for all the lessons and projects in the student kit. In order to program your Arduino board, you'll need to download and install the Arduino Software Integrated Development Environment, short IDE. IDE is a desktop application and doesn't require internet connection or registration to use it. If you want, you can also use the online tool called Web Editor that you can access with your Arduino account. Arduino Code is a text-based programming language, similar to C++. Programs written in Arduino ID are called sketches. If your students have used block programming tools, the same logical thinking is applied in both. Coding with text-based programming language teaches students many skills, such as attention to detail, typing, analytical skills, problem solving, decision making, and creativity. It gives students the freedom and opportunities to create whatever they want, and it prepares them for the next school levels and for future careers. If your students are already familiar with Python, they can use that knowledge to create Arduino sketches. Our community has created many great documents to help you translate your familiarity with Python, C++ or Java into one of the other languages. Well done! 
you have the project board assembled and IDE installed. Now you're ready to upload your first program to the board following the instructions in the lesson. To assess your students, you can use our lesson scoring rubric developed for the student kit. This is also available for students to help them understand what is expected of them. Note that Lesson 5 and 10 are open-ended projects and use a different scoring rubric. You can find them in the logbook under the sections for these lessons. After the Getting Started lesson, we have 9 lessons and 2 open-ended projects. The first two lessons focus on electricity basics by building circuits and measuring electricity using a multimeter. The beginning of each lesson provides skills and knowledge keywords, estimated completion time, and an overview with learning objectives. Clicking on the eye icon, you will see the lesson timing, which gives you the opportunity to split the class into two sessions. Lessons are divided into theory and experimentation. First, we have theory, including vocabulary and invention spotlights. Invention spotlights are historical insights into different inventions and facts behind the topics and lessons, giving a broader view and perfect material to co-host your class with teachers from other subjects. As a matter of fact, history and coding share many important concepts. For example, using pseudocode is a perfect method to introduce the space and time mapping. All these projects can be extended to cover other subjects, like this traffic lights project. It's a fun and engaging way to teach basic road safety, traffic rules, traffic signs, and signals. For more inspiration and ideas, see the teacher in further notes. From the theory, we move on to experimenting. Hands-on learning about different components, electricity, and building circuits. Students can follow the schematics, wiring diagrams, or step-by-step -step instructions. These different options give students the support they need and the chance to challenge themselves. Try first creating your circuit by following the schematics and then check it with the wiring diagram. After we have built our circuit, we move on to the code. Our approach to teaching how to code is one step at a time. We use flowcharts to explain the code and start developing programming logic. Pseudocode helps students understand and express how the circuit will behave in common language. As well as the code, examples are always annotated and presented in smaller chunks. Students write code step by step, test it and debug it. Challenges allow students to take the example sketches a step further. Learn more about sections, take students to the resource page with exercises and extension activities. These are not included in the lesson completion time. We also know that students approach things at a different pace. You can advise them to look into extra resources while other students finish the task. A good way for students to learn more is to help each other. You could, for example, tell them to ask from two or three other students before they come to you. Both students, the one helping and the one being helped, are going to learn valuable skills from each other. When you're familiar with this content, it is time to start the course with the students. The student kit is flexible and can be used in classroom or for remote and blended learning. And remember that when you have finished all the content on the learning platform, you can use these same hardware components and Arduino IDE to create projects and explore other subjects. The world is open for you and your students' ideas. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun learning electronics and coding. See you next time.